All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are looking at one of the supposed monsters, new monsters that will be making Link summon just all right. So with that, there's no way we can't talk about this guy. Today we are looking at Link Slayer. I, I apologize about the art. That, that's the best art we have. Well, it does look very crisp and not really fuzzy. You got that little piece of another Link monster on top of him. But, you know, it doesn't cover anything important. So that's fine. Anyway, Link Slayer is an Earth Cyber, so Link already starting off great. Earth for some of the Link monsters, like Mrs. Radiant, and Cybers as well for your Honey Bot. So he's a little bit of both worlds for the Link monsters we have right now. Effect monster, he is level five, so you know I don't plan on tribute summoning. That that's an egg. I don't plan on tribute summoning unless his effect is totally worth it or something, or maybe I could start summoning him from my hand, hopefully. He has 2,000 tackle, a little on the low side, really is, for level 5. Like, what is he, like, freaking, like, Curse of Dragon? Like, only 2,000? And 600 defense. Oh, my God, I actually said a defense on a card? Oh, my God, it's been, like, weeks. It really has been. Uh, anyway, uh, his monster effect, it reads, If you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So I was wondering if you could just special summon him. Yes, you can. If you control the monsters. And I like that it's an upgrade where it's not like, oh, if your opponent controls a monster and you don't. No. If you control no monsters, you can just special summon this card from your hand. Therefore, I don't have to go suck it with this card. Hope that my opponent summons something. That way I can get this guy out of my hand. It's just, all right, I'll go first. I don't control any monsters. Special summon this card. So not bad. Not bad. And of course, you know, he's an earth. He's a cyber. So just the fact that I can just special summon him. He's an Earth, he's a Cybers, and he, he'd be a great material for my Link Summon. And I didn't conduct a normal summon. That, that's pretty good, pretty good. But he has another effect which makes it seem like people are going to definitely use him. So, once per turn, you can discard two cards, then target that many spell slash trap cards on the field. Destroy them. So, Link, Link, Link Slayer? Link Slayer, shit, more like Pendulum Slayer, am I right? Because, you know, I could discard two cards and target your two Pendulum Scales and crack them both with one card, so he's like, Pendulum? Okay, I'll stop. Anyway, that's pretty interesting that you kind of just made it kind of like a Cyber Dragon monster, just special summon, he's actually, you know, pretty strong for uh, that early in the game, but it's being a standalone 2000 attack monster to special summon, even though Cyber Dragon's a little bit stronger, a little bit stronger. But also that you made him his own kind of pseudo Twin Twister, where Twin Twister, I play, I discard one, I did two cards, my two cards, my Twin Twister and my card that I discarded for your two cards, you know. So it's really just an upgraded MST where, you know, I get a two for one kind of special, it's a great card. We already know, Twin Twister is a great card, we know this. This card, it's still kind of like that, except... The, instead of the Twin Twister being the material, the cost for the even out, I make it a walking card. So, I special summon this from card from my hand to the field. That's an even out. That's, you know. And then I discard two cards to target two of your spells and traps, pop them both. So, two for two, except now, instead of the Twin Twister being one of the uh, twos, it's now a walking card. So, that's that's pretty good. And I can definitely see, you know, with this being um, Earth, it being a Cybers, it being, you know, a early beater, it being able to just discard two cards to pop two of your opponent's back rows. I mean, I can definitely see how people would just hop on this card and be like, oh yeah, definitely play a Link Slayer. Three of them, three copies, oh yeah. Yeah, there's one problem, and the reason why I'm not just going to hop on the bandwagon, get rid of all the Twin Twisters in my deck, and throw in only Link Slayer. And the big problem with it is, is that while it's nice, yes, I can go summon Link Slayer, Instant Fusion, summon Theseus, go into Ultimaya, Sobrokia, oh wait, yeah, with the new, you know, Link rolling in the extra deck, yeah, and if you don't have a Link Monster, with then just himself, you get it. And the reason why I'm not going to just take out all my Twin Twisters and just put in Link Slayers is the fact that his first attack is the cost, then he resolves, which means that if I get hit with a Solemn Strike, oh my god, like, that, 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 that's, that's, the, that's the problem. I go, once per turn, discard two cards and target that many spell traps cards on the field. Semicolon. Destroy them. Therefore, that means that if I go summon Link Slayer, I you activate my effect, pay my cost of discarding two cards, target my spell two spell trap cards, and you go strike. I'm dead. I don't pop the two cards that I targeted in. And not only did I lose my Link Slayer, but I also lost two cards as well. So I just went neg three on that shit. While all you did was just use your strike. So you went plus two of, on me because I fucked up, you know, because I decided to use Link Slayer over Twin Twister, you know, so that, that's my gripe, that's my gripe, now if they made it so, you know, 
I targeted the cards. I just, you know, that was the cost that my targeting. And then I discarded and did my resolving and popping or whatever. Then I'd be fine. But just the fact that, you know, I can just take that neg so hard off a Psalm Strike, which of course is still right now, as of this recording, is a card I throw you very powerful and we see it a lot. Uh, it hurts. It hurts, you know. And also, you can strike me just on summon because he is an inherent summon. While Tone Twister is a quick play spell card, which is arguably one of the strongest type of cards you can have in the game. I can play it during my turn. I can play it during your turn. It's you know, it's spell. Speed. It can be spell speed one. It can be spell speed two. It's just it's it's a great card. We already know quick play spell cards are a one. So. Uh, the fact that you could just stop this card with a strike, which you generally play when I could just play Twin Twister, only this card one card instead of two, despite this card being a walk walking Twin Twister, because maybe I don't want to discard two cards to pop two. Maybe I just want to do Twin Twister and one card to pop two cards, you know, pop two back row. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. And I, I just think that I'm going to be sticking with Twin Twister over Link Slayer. No offense to Link Slayer. Now, if you're playing a Link uh, Cypress as mo uh, deck, then yeah, sure, more power to you. But if I'm playing just an Earth deck, I I'm not going to throw him in there. If I'm throwing him in just for, you know, popping back row, I'd rather just play Twin Twister. So unless you're playing a Cypress deck, a pure Cypress deck, and, you you know, you're trying to be Yusaku, I wouldn't really touch the Link Slayer. I would just do my own thing without him and just play Twin Twister over him. That's my opinion of Link Slayer. I, you know, some people are thinking that he's the end all be all best thing ever. You know, definitely play three. I'm like, nah, I'll, I'll stick over here with Twin Twister, all right? So tell me what you guys think about Link Slayer in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys on Wednesday with another card looking at, we're looking at yet another monster that's supposedly going to really help the Link summoning mechanic. So, all right, people. Thanks for watching.